like Paul Bunyan, you gotta eat like Paul Bunyan. Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. I'm over being sad about Super Bunyan because someone told me that she's based on a Quebecois lumberjack. And I know I said I wanted a Canadian servant. Honey, that's not Canadian. I'm sorry, look. Those Quebecois, they want to separate. I ain't dealing with that. I'm happy I got five mice instead. Anyways, let's go to St. Louis. The long road to Mythdom. Please be approaching the end of these repeated arcs. I did check. I, I think 70 was the amount of points you need for the full event. So we should be good. Should. Let's see here. Why a... Why a foreigner? Oh, well, because we're in the United States. It's built by foreigners, essentially. Um, let's grab ourselves. Well, an alter ego's good. We'll grab you then for now. Um, this, is, this has been my grinding team. These two can just do everything, pretty much. You know what? Screw it. Let's just keep it, because they've been kind of... And I could show... I mean, nah, I was going to say show what I've been doing, but I would just then power them up with stuff. Um, sure, why not? Give me three of them little blondes, you know? Is, is Fate up there with, like, Street Fighter V for the most blondes in a game? I feel like there's a lot. And it is because of Saber Faces. What do we got? Starship St. Louis. The young hero, Lone Eagle, has embarked for the legendary planet Terra. Accompanied by his trusty partner, the spaceship known as the SSL, they set a course for the unknown. Okay, Charlie. It's almost time for Betty Bye. I'll take it from here. Oh. Oh! Are we doing Le, Pe Pe Le Petit Prince? But then why you? I must already be dreaming then, partner. The ship's AI wasn't designed to speak aloud. How about you be lonely by yourself, right? I could tag along, if you'll have me. Who is this? Bud? Jenny? Or maybe. Right. It's you. I can't believe I forgot. Yeah, there we go. It is Voyager. As long as I'm with you, Starship St. Louis. Oh, wait. Wrong voice. As long as I'm with you, Starship St. Louis. There's nowhere I can't go. It was Le Petit Prince. Beyond the Blue Planet. Okay. So what's 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 the problem with this one? What what what's the problem? This is what St. Louis looks like. St. Louis aviator Charles Lindbergh, who was the first man to successfully fly across the Atlantic Ocean nonstop, was dubbed the Lone Eagle. Lindbergh named the custom aircraft that enabled him to accomplish this spectacular feat. The Spirit of St. Louis, in gratitude for the support of the citizens of St. Louis. Oh, very interesting. What a beautiful movie. I know, right? I'm so glad you get it. I'll admit that it was visually storing, uh, stunning. The story was a little sentimental for my tastes, but not what I'd call bad. Behind the scenes, it's a complete disaster, though. We're actors. Why are we dealing with debt collectors? I'm really sorry. You're right, you shouldn't have to deal with that. In retrospect... I guess we did go a little overboard in post. That still doesn't answer my question. Why are the debt collectors hounding us? Budgeting isn't an actor's job. I guess it's because I've been so busy they can't get a hold of me. I can't believe you guys were kind enough to deal with them in my place. I couldn't ask for better employees. Are you seriously trying to flatter your way out of this? I don't want the repo men to take me away. <laughs> we'll take care of it, trust us. Oh, we're saved. My hero! I knew you'd come through, Tanner. You'll handle the funding stuff like you always do, right? 
<sighs> you know, Tanner, I really have nothing but respect for how far you're willing to go to help people. But that doesn't change the fact that, damn it, we're mad as hell and we're not going to take it anymore. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's do this. Quah! Voyager just does what Voyager does, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if Voyager sees the con and is just like, that's me. We're the same. All right, let's, I'm taking a sip of my delicious cola. I don't usually drink cola, but gosh dang, this one here that tastes like medicine is actually so good. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm, we could do, uh, I think I'll just start with some of this here, get some meter gain to start, and we can just go crazy on the Noble Phantasms after, yeah, thank you for the likes, because we want the likes on you, wow, thank you, alright, is this enough to get everyone? We got yours, we got e not yours, how much for yours? Okay, then we got enough for yours. Cool. Check this. Okay. Pop this, buster up. This one does uh, NP seal, no, don't need that. I forget what all these do. Attack up, we're good. Gain guts. Okay, and let's do buster up on you. Alright, so let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. Alright. Start with this. That's stupid damage already. We n we won't even need that final hit, I bet. Look at that. We do it. We'll be hearing that song a lot more real soon. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, one quest done. Thank you. Oh, right, we got new quests here. New weekly quests. We already got half of them. Well, half the magic gems, I guess. Nice! Super Bunion! Okay, defeat humanoid enemies. Oh. I never realized that they close it up. Huh. Okay. So who are we fighting here? What are we doing? Oh, is it the other side? Scree! Stay back, Plesio. These things aren't worthy to face you. I'll tenderize his fodder till it practically melts in your mouth. Oh, wow, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, let's just do this. Enemy HP falls to zero, and the next attack is a different servant. The target will autom uh, the next attack is from a different servant. Oh, yeah. I was for some reason, I was like, wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, just saying that when you switch, yeah, super basic. We know that. Okay, Meganira, Pliosaurus, sure. Let's start with uh, getting you because you're the weakest. <laughs> Let's get some meter here. And damage. Okay. Alright. You guys will give me a lot of meter every time you hit me. Yep. You're fairly weak. So that's good. Uh, let's do... You know what? We got a bunch of stars. Yeah. All right, let's go one, two, three. Good hit. Last time we got just about to 100%, so we should kill you this time, yeah. Okay. Windbreaker, crit rate up, sure hit. Okay. I will suck your meter. Not enough. Okay, that's fine. I'll just finish this with this. And we'll do a super next turn. Boy, you're strong, actually. 
Okay. We got halfway. Ow. Okay, copper poison. That's fine. Okay. So let's go one, two, three for loop. At least attempted loops. Say from my hood. I've never seen her say from my hood. That's really funny. Okay, only 43% on that one. We should, we'll, we'll win here. We just got this. Let's go. There we go. We got this. And then with you. Lightning. There we go. Now, like, Mary Annie is a really strong one-star servant. If you if you were just starting the game, she would take you pretty far, I feel. Not only is her abilities and stuff super solid for support, but she herself is pretty good, too. <sighs> About time they gave up. All right, Plesio, dig in. Be sure to clean your plate. Three. Bench, bench, bench. You okay, baby? You're looking a little gaunt. Does the Mississippi mud not agree with him? Or is it? Well, there's nowhere left for us to go anyway. I'll have to find a way to survive out here. So, so is the Daikoku, is, is, is the Takarabune just, just out in the water, just staying there? Like, what are we doing? Felicitacion! This ought to keep the debt collectors off your backs for a while. The production is still deep in debt, though. I'll keep doing everything I can to recoup the costs, starting with more marketing. Oh yeah, because that just, that just solves all your issues, right? Just more marketing, just market more. Definitely, definitely doesn't mean the product needs to be made better. Ah, what a huge cover-up, right? Nothing can keep my delightful employees down for long. This statue will serve as a reminder for all that, for all to see. Now then, Tanner Mash, there's something I wanted to ask for your help with. I'm getting a weirdly bad feeling about this. Yeah, I'm getting a weirdly bad feeling that we're going to be doing the same thing over and over. The same things over again. Is that what we're doing? Just the fact that the, even the other servants are contributing... Oh no, you're still going. But the other servants are contributing like nothing to the story. Right? Like they're just... They're just there, and then they say, oh, I hate being in a movie, and you beat them up. They're like, actually, being in a movie is fine. And that's it. It's that over and over, right? It's kind of the worst in some ways. Um, sure, let's grab you just to make our life easier for this. We're definitely not using you guys. Okay. Sure, this should work. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't know what we're fighting, so could just be trash mobs, could be a servant. We got it, though. I mean, we got the... We got the servant for Lancer. Barbecue blood! Kansas City, the barbecue capital of the Midwest. Once again today, bullets will fly amid the search for the ultimate beef. Oh, the Hickory F Hill family's got y'all surrounded. When it comes to brisket, we don't sell for nothing less than the biggest and the best. Brisket boy? I don't think so. The Clamney Ranch ain't going down without a fight, Pitmaster Patty. Boo! Babe, the big blue ox! You're not blue. You do or die. Kill or be killed. Eat or be eaten. This fiery festival of various flavors continues with no end in sight on diners, drive ins, and dives. I'm sorry, it was kind of morphing into the. The, the Guy Fieri voice. Burnt ends, delicious. Oh, having a little bit of burn on the meat? Mmm, that's the good stuff. Burnt ends are a unique staple of Kansas City barbecue. The fatty part of the brisket is smoked until it roasts until it turns black, giving it that signature smoky flavor. Ooh, ooh, that's so good. Love it. I love me a good barbecue. Thanks so much for your patience, everyone. I can finally pay you. You're late. 
They're all absolutely furious. The fight's breaking out. Oh, it looks like we're about to get smoked. Wow, we're just in already, huh? Okay. To be fair, being late on your payment, not a good sign. Don't be like me, where you're like, oh, the boss is late on my payment. I'm just going to let it fly. And then you let it fly for too long. And then the boss uh, runs off with uh, everyone's paychecks, leaves the country, changes their name. And, oh, did I mention in the middle of the night she broke into the store and stole all the equipment? Yeah, so, uh, you know, something, something to, to not do. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna be silly and just, let's just do this. Yep, give me some stars. Give me some more stars. Give you, this is for everyone, right? Nope. Uh, increase gauge each turn. Sure, we'll pop that. Uh, this is for female. Does that count? Does that count for you? It does. Good. Uh, you might be like, why would it not? You'd be surprised. Sure, attack up. Okay. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill you all. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's so easy. Yo, how do people think this game's hard? It's just that easy. That was, that was, that was literally just all we needed, huh? It's wild how far in this game you can get by literally just picking some... Mind you, that's a level 120 Malusume. But you can get so far by just picking, like, some people's servants, you know? That's ridiculous, actually. That's ridiculous. 120? Oh my god. I guess you're all pretty stressed, huh? Do you feel better now? I personally, we don't mind a little waiting. But did you forget about this? these here extras? The townsfolk. If you're not gonna pay us, at least feed us. We'll settle for a taste of babe. <clears throat> They're gonna eat me. Stay back or I'll, I'll eat you instead. Asterios is so lost in his method acting, he's fighting back as if we were an actual ox. We need to calm him down. There. Then let's have a makeup barbecue. Everyone in town can come, not just my employees. Oh, that sounds like a real hoot. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Bunyan. But you better keep your promise this time, you hear? Of course. I've never broken a promise. Some just take a little longer to keep than others. So how are you fixing to rustle up enough meat to feed all these folks? Oh, there's more than enough juicy Jurassics in the Mississippi to go around. We'll grill you a whole new flavor. It's all well and good in theory, but who's actually going to procure the meat? Or is there even a point in asking? Looks like it's time to put on our hunting hats. You're the best, Tanner. This'll be great. We'll all enjoy a taste of the Jurassic period together. You want something really, you know, something really funny? There was a whole thing on social media of people thinking that um, either mammoth ribs or brontosaurus ribs, like all those like fake names they used to say, like a you know a big set of ribs, right? Um, you know Simpsons brontosaurus ribs, right? Or you know there's all sorts of ways. There's a lot of people who thought that like it was actual mammoth or brontosaurus. Like what? What do you mean? Those don't. Those aren't real. And yes, I know they made the mammoth meatball of uh, mammoth flesh, but uh, don't, don't. That's probably, I, I don't trust that. I'm sorry, I don't trust cloned meat. How do I know it's not gonna start cloning on the inside of my body? Oh great, now I'm got a woolly mammoth growing out of me? And like, that's gross, I don't like it. I don't wanna look like the fly. I wanna be an ethical human and kill my meat. For real animals. By ethical, I mean just one that doesn't freak me out because I've seen too much Resident Evil. Okay, Senpai, we've collected all we need for the barbecue. Now all we have to do is prepare it. Hmm? Looks like there's another battle going on over there. Let's go check it out. Right, Master. It's Anning. Looks like she's on her own. I think. Is she doing some hunting herself? Scree! When did I get so close? Knock it off, Plesio. Scree? You said your name was Tanner, right? 
You've been helping Bunny, haven't you? Yep, and I'm the master, Kaldia. But even so, you still worried about my baby here, didn't you? <laughs> I'd rather nobody fight at all. Is that so? Well, aren't you a big softy? Okay, then how about we agree to go our separate ways? You want some food? No thanks. I can take care of my baby here myself. I'm done relying on anyone else for anything. I mean, has he uh, lost a bit of weight since last time? No, he hasn't. He's still got plenty of growing to do, both in size and strength. I'm going to raise him to be the emperor of the whole damn Jurassic period. When I do, I'll settle the score. So that probably means I'll have to fight you, too. Well, see you later, Tanner. Come on, please, let's go. Oh, scree! Manning seemed kind of tired to me. Surviving on a dress is... <laughs> Sometimes I just start reading a sentence and then it really clicks in what I'm saying and... Yeah. Surviving on a Jurassicified Mississippi River must be harder than she expected. Uh, I wonder why she got off the Takara Bude to begin with. Maybe she's training for something? Maybe... Master, I think it's time we headed back. Bunyan and the others are waiting for us. The barbecue's all ready to eat. We've got plenty of maple syrup, too, so use all you like. I Let's not... Let's not put that on the meat. I mean, there there is there is a time and place for maple syrup at a barbecue. Um, if you fry up some bacon, yeah. Dipping, dipping, like, bacon in, in maple syrup. Mmm, that's good, right? Like, that's a, that's a Canadian breakfast staple. Um, but I would put it on before you fry to give it like a maple glaze right like like do a maple glaze on like especially like a salmon mm, that's real good but uh otherwise no not not on the the meat please let's eat it looks like everyone's in a much better mood now of course we ain't seen a dime yet you will i promise just need a little more time hey can i ask you something why isn't the real babe here wouldn't it save money and b uh, draw a bigger audience Babe changed at some point. What? I guess that's just what happens with childhood friends. What? What do you mean he changed at some point? What or what? Oh, gotcha. Well, now that you mention it, you are a little more grown up now. But you're also more, well, normal. Normal? Me? <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, just look at you. You're not even all that tall anymore. I'm not my child self anymore, okay? These days, I'm all about symbolic growth. Anyways, here's a giant statue of me. The ancient giants might have been at home in the forests, but as the latest model, I'm happy with attention likes coming through my little social media window. Oh, right. Wasn't she a ball of udon? Right. Oh, my God. Wait. Hold up. Is this meant to be... Like the udon bowl with her hair as the noodles. Oh my god, the deepest lore. The statues for all my supportive employees. This is how everyone sees me. But, well, it's not that cute. <gasps> huh? Okay, can we just enjoy the party? Yeah, let's. I'm the leader and host of the power party, so how can I expect everyone else to have fun if I'm not? Hey guys, watch me chug this gallon of maple syrup gonna drink it well up here thank you okay those were noises I just made every day I'm worried about my neighbors calling and being like you okay except they would say it to me in a language I can't understand so it'd be even worse anyways uh, Ryder and something. That's a dragon! That's not a dinosaur! Ah! Our foe is a formidable one. We must keep our guard up. You think I don't know that? Of course I do, but, um, maybe we should have stuck to hunting something a little easier? 
We need nutrients. Our own safety is a distant second. Don't you even know that, me? Yes, yes, of course. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. If worse comes to worse, we can always multiply. We give thanks for this bounty. Really? We're just them? Feels a little forced to be like, yeah, you're going to battle, you know, with each of the new servants a bit. A little strange. You see, there's one good and one bad. I'm assuming use the one good to power up and then pop noble phantasm on the bad. Seems like it. Okay, so let's start with, uh, Actually, let's, cause yeah, let's let's. Okay, let's start with this. Uh, this will do C stars and HP each turn. Yep. Um, apply evade and NP gain up. Sure. Let's get that going. So let's go one, two, two, three. Right, get as much meters we can. Scrub, scrub. Okay, so we should get enough from hits here. Yep, good. So we got then one, two, so wait. Special attack, crit strength up, decrease crit resistance. I think that should still work good. Yeah, let's do this here. Get a bunch of stars next time, too. How we do. Okay. No crit there. Yo! The cross-up! That's a lot of stars. That's a, that's a comedic number of stars. Yeah, we can do hundreds on anything. It looks like a rice cooker or an iPod touch. The little, little component there. Okay. Sounds good. We got them! Yay! But, um, how are we gonna feed all this to him? Good question, me. I can tell you didn't think that far ahead either, me. Well, it's a pretty pickle. What do we do? What do we do? Mm, scree! Lord Plesiosaurus. Fancy running into you two. What are you doing uh, up to out here? You're here too, Boss Anning? Perhaps this is the Buddha's guidance. Please take this. We hope to give it to you. This freshly caught Mississippi whale is full of nutrients. We hope Lord Plesiosaurus likes it. You know, I've been watching you two hunt for a while now. Oh, I see. We have, we have been very happy if you helped us. Huh? And why would I do that? You're right. I'm not even sure why I said that. Come on, me. You should know better. I'm sorry. I guess this means Boss Anning really isn't our boss anymore then. Over. Oh, <laughs> Listen up. Yes, what is it? You want to serve me? That's your choice. I'm not going to thank you, pay you, or anything like that. You okay with that? Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you. Well, then, guess I'll take you up on your offer. Go on, please, yo, chow down. Oh, it's green. And when you're done, we'll head back home to, to Karabune, if that's okay. Of course it is. What is the moral of this event? Be a horrible person? It's what it feels like. Truly. Wait, what? How do we switch at this point? Well, your boss gauge is going up. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're back to evens. Back to even Stevens. What's the next one? Oh, hi. Oh. Okay. It's the same thing from this other perspective. 
I guess we got off on the wrong foot. You'll forgive me though, right? Here, how about a makeup hug? Okay. She's taller than Mash. Wow. You said your name was Tanner, right? You'll join my companions, right? Right? So please, Tanner, help me stop Lancer. Thank you. Are we making a movie about making movies? That's it. I look really cute. I knew Ryder would come through. Though of course it helps she has such a great subject to work with. This still isn't nearly enough. Hmm, let's put the full length mirror down here. Here, how about a makeup hug? You'll join my companions, right? Thank you. No, not quite. Thank you! Wait, is someone there? Just uh, one of your employees. Hi, that's me. Tanner? Well, that's okay then. I'm sure you can keep a secret. Don't tell anyone else about this, okay? I don't know you practice this stuff. Don't worry about me or anything. I'm doing this because I like it. I want to be even cuter than I already am. That way everyone will like me and agree to be one of my employees, right? Don't tell me I'm already cute enough, okay? I'm gonna go above and beyond. Ideally, I'd like to be cute enough to say, stop a war with a smile or make someone feel like they've died and gone to heaven with a hug. Hmm. So you want to be a hero and save the world? You want to be a hero of justice? Segi no Mikata? Not even close. I'm no god, no hero. Oh. Well, maybe I could be if I wanted to. If I were, I could easily solve every problem myself and then Nobody else would ever need to grow or learn. That's why I want my employees to always be giving their all. I want them to ask themselves what they can do to help me, to help the world. How can they be useful? The way I see it, if they really like me, they're one of, and they're one of my delightful companions, then they'll just do everything they can to make the world a better place, right? So that's what, I, what you want to guide everyone towards? Remember what I said when we first met Tanner? I said I wanted to make myths together. I mean, I meant it. I want to change the world and make new myths that'll support it all at the same time. That's why I was summoned here. Because I've been working towards all this time. So I'm not a god and I'm not a hero. The best I can do to make the world I want is to see is gather companions and decide the roles they'll play. That's how I've made all these... Mythical movies. I know most of them have been failures so far, but... Still, I'm still not giving up. I want to create myths, stories around the world people will love, admire, enjoy over and over, think about, and discuss for generations. Making movies isn't the only way I can do that. Ryder said the same thing. In fact, Ryder really probably seemed to get into your head to a point where it's kind of confusing. Oh well, I'm basically just repeating what she always says. But I really do believe that. I made the choice to. I want you to help me make that happen, Tanner. We've even got a new script all ready to go. But I might need a few new rights. Because I just got a great idea for the last scene. I'm sure the script will be a success. And that's why it's going to be the last movie I make. We're nearly free! I can't tell you what it's about just yet. Uh, but you'll stick around to see our movie. Our myth gets made, won't you? Of course, though I am a little nervous about it. Trust me, I promise it's going to be a masterpiece. Will it? Will it now? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. All right, one more here. We go to the other team. Yep. I'm home. Ooh, I'm exhausted. Now hold, hold up, hold up. So one thing I completely forgot. We don't actually know the gender of this servant. Because it's based on J. Edgar Hoover. Yep. And J. Edgar Hoover has been known to cross-dress. So potentially, male servant who wears female lingerie. Also, you're a silly. The hell? Who are you? Not to worry. One of them is one of us. And the other is... Lord Assassin. Oh, you have something for me? Yay! Don't take it. It can't possibly be anything good. Is this a map? 
It looks like it shows all the locations of the various prehistoric creatures living near the Mississippi River. I suppose these skull marks warn of contaminated areas. Oh, this could be a great way to locate new source of nutrients for Lord Plesiosaurus. I don't understand. Why don't you give me something so useful? Are you leaving now? Do take care on your way back, and thank you for the wonderful gift. Huh? It's being one of Bunny's minions snuck aboard the Takarabune while we were away. Why didn't they try to take it back? Maybe they're just really nice. What? No way, that's it. No way. Could it be? Nah. At any rate, now we can be sure you'll have an eat especially nutritious meal tomorrow, Lord Plesiosaurus. Spree! Now, seriously, why? Hmm. I mean, Assassin's been surprisingly not part of our team, so. Yeah, this is this is J. Ed that's J. Edgar Hoover, and the other one is George Mel Melias, the French uh, cinematographer. Director? Is he director? I'm not sure, actually. Uh, anyways, boy, we're just going out here, huh? Omaha! Omaha! I don't know anything in Omaha. We gotta wait till tomorrow for that! Alright, sounds good. Time for me to continue grinding. Hopefully the extended run, or critically acclaimed, allows for... Uh, doing all three at once. We will see. We will see. All right, guys. Uh, see you in a second. Enchanted Forest. What a safari. Okay. Where the fun never stops. Rightio. Let's continue with Omaha. To grab the Star of Dreams. I do have more than enough points to complete the whole event. And uh, it's been enough days that I should be able to complete it all, honestly. We'll see how long it takes. I, I don't I don't know, right? If this is a short one, we might then do the next one, but and who knows about a post game, am I right? So let's grab the Star of Dreams. Hello? You okay, game? Ooh. Ooh, it's having a bit of a moment. Let's hope that it loads fine. Sometimes the emulator is just like, nah, not today, chief. Seems to be going good. Ninja Train versus Elephant Army. Okay. A speeding train loaded with gold bullion guarded by Ninja. They're coming. That's a unique background. I don't remember this one from before if we've seen it before. With terrifying speed, the notorious Elephant Army swarmed across the Great Plains in pursuit of the train. Skill. They're here. Let's go head them off. Don't let even one of them pass you. Die! All of a sudden, a huge figure comes into view, blocking up the tracks. You thought you could pass without my approval? Such arrogance is beyond ridiculous. Another elephant? Never mind him. Form an unkillable formation. No. A construction formation. Are they gonna build a ramp? We're gonna jump the elephant? Oh, no. Wait! Are we doing multi-track drifting? Behold the power of ninja. In an instant, they spread out in all directions. Each lays down branching tracks. Two, five, ten. Ninja art. Uncertainty Railroad. Oh, it's not multi-track drifting at all. Fool. Nothing escapes my thunder. Voina Grosny. We should have just jumped him. We could have jumped the elephant. Overkill. So, reduce us to ash, but the tracks we lay will remain. Trains will continue to run forever. All, all aboard? I've been working on the railroad. Okay, that. Sure. All right. Oh. I was wondering if they were going to bring this up. The folk song, I've been working on the railroad, is a labor song sung during the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad, and it's been used in many movies and television series. Omaha, where 
Many films have been set, prospered as it became a transportation hub during the gold rush. Union Pacific Railroad, which was part of the first transcontinental railroad project, is headquartered there. Very neat. I would like it if we got production notes for every country we went to like that, you know? That was quite the spectacle. That was barely an ending. Exactly. After all... Why are they fighting? Why are y'all fighting? Their battle still isn't over. I thought this was supposed to be fiction. Oh. No, nah, that... They're just stupid. Okay. Let's deal with them. Do we need to put them all down? Let's see here. Sure. You know what? Honestly, if we do this with, uh... With you. This has been my grinding team, by the way. I would then do Castoria here, and they would wipe them all out. And it worked pretty good, honestly. Um, though, of course, considering I'm now going to be done the event soon, and I've grinded out for pretty much everything that I need, uh, I don't really need that as much anymore. Uh, so let's just go with this. You two can help out. You can do a lot. Sure, this should work out. And uh, I don't need to switch you in. Let's go with... Just give me that meter. All right. Saber is just my go-to. Like, she can just rip and tear through whatever. She's so strong. She's my girl. Maybe one day I'll get a second copy of her. I mean, the fact that it's entirely random means nothing. Oh, by the way, we got the update. There's going to be... um. Bron no, blue apples. I kept wanting to call them bronze apples, but no, we already have bronze apples. They're blue apples. That's a whole awesome system. Did not know that'd be a thing. Okay. So let's see here. I don't think... I think you can get enough. Well, wait. Let's see here. Let's go... 50%. 70%. Oh, it's not going to be enough. No. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's fine. For now, let's just go. Wait, this does. That's just for you. Okay, we'll at least do a super with you. Okay, and we'll go up. Okay, and no stars for you. Let's go one, two, three. All right. Do some good stuff. Morgan is just another good one. It's funny, the two sisters are both just on the side of... Put them on the team, have them do something, they'll win. That's all we needed anyways. Alright. Easy peasy. Thank you. I'll take that. So the Persian king has sh sheathed his spear. I shall follow suit. That's a relief. As a lone shinobi, I didn't really feel qualified to serve as mediator between emperors. I guess they got a little carried away during filming. You mean all that actually happened? No special effects? Of course, it's so much cheaper to produce that way. Does that include the array of unfinished railroad tracks? My fellow ninja and I will restore the tracks, but I don't know how we can compensate the railroad company. I'll do my best to negotiate as low a price as possible. Once I've done that, I have complete confidence that Tanner and Mash can take care of the rest. You need us to secure funding again, right? We'll do our best. I never understood how much work went into making a movie before now. Just like how there's people at the bottom who do all the work. For none of the recognition, very little pay, and uh, they just get abused while the upper people get all the credit and, you know, they get their names famous. Well, they're just going around just yelling at people to do stuff. You know, it almost seems a little unfair a bit, but what am I saying? I'm just the gopher. Anyways, we're good. Grab the Star of Dreams. All of Caldia in tears. Why is it that? Why are we crying? We crying because we see a railroad and we're like railroad people that love railroads. It makes sense.
number of Japanese at uh, Caldia there. They, they, they love their railroads, that's for sure. There it is, a nice, big, nutritious meal for Lord Plesiosaurus. He's in this great boss anning. Lord Assassin's map turned out to be perfect. I still think there's something real fishy about all this. Nice green. Ah, but if you'll make my baby big and strong, then I'll do it. Let's take it down. With a bow and a smile, we'll go the extra mile. Smile and mile? Does that rhyme? I'd say it's like a half rhyme. Because when it's like the same word twice, it's not really what I would call a rhyme, you know? Anyways, uh, okay, that's what we're doing. We're doing these ones. Okay. Interesting pair for sure. We'll take them out. Brontosaurus. Did you know the Brontosaurus didn't exist? It's a little messed up when you learn that the Brontosaurus was actually, uh, they were wrong and that it was uh, multiple dinosaur species that were actually the ones that were part of it. So let's start with this. One of those things though where it's been become such a part of pop culture. You can't you can't say, right, it doesn't exist really. Because it's in our souls. That's gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, we're gonna need to dodge then. Also take this. Uh we don't have enough for a full thing, but let's go one, two, three. Get enough for the gain. Okay. Dragon Spirit. No, hit me. I want the meter. Oh, no. He's getting so strong. Even though he probably won't get his Noble Phantasm off. There's like, no way. Um, okay, we'll survive one more turn. Then we can take him out next turn. If we don't kill him now with crits. Oh, which we totally will. Dang, we got mad crit lucky. We take it. No win quote? Nothing? Yeah. Actually, very close to leveling up. Done and done. What shall we do with our catch, Boss Anning? And let's bring it back to the ship. We'll roast the whole thing. It's probably tough to digest raw. And being near the Holy Grail ought to help spice it up. That sounds like a bad thing. That sounds like the spice of the Holy Grail will turn Plesiosaurus into a crazy mega monster or something. Understood. Then I'll gather the rest of me and carry it to the Takarabune right away. Well, Plesio, you're in for a real treat tonight. Eat up, rest up, and grow big and strong for me, you hear? Ooh, scree! And once you're all grown up... <laughs> Felicitations! The railroad company is now fully compensated. Now let's all have a celebratory glass of maple syrup. Whoa. Right, there's nothing better than maple syrup straight from the tap. That's... That would imply the tree. You really do love it, don't you, Bunyan? I wonder why that is. Flavor is just so nostalgic. Like, I've known it since long before I was even born. Maybe it's a taste of something I'm secretly longing for. Anyway! Canada? Going back to frickin' Quebec. Yucky, yucky. I know we made a lot of side stops, but now it's time to get down to business. Yeah! We gotta recover the Holy Grail! Where's the Tech Harbor located now, Assassin? She just pulled a map right out. Oh. So now we're using she for her. Okay. Even though technically we don't know the... Technically labeled as genderless because, again, possibly cross-dresser, but okay. Uh, I guess she already had it. According to the map of the, this map of the area, it looks like... Uh, it's heading north up one of the Mississippi's branches, then she must be heading to... The Great Lakes? That feels like a far distance. That feels like a far distance. If we're way down in... Wait. Wait, what do you mean the Great Lakes? 
There's no way. That's like, that's in, that's Canada. That is, oh, wait. Oh, this is meant to be the Great Lake? Oh, this map is very wrong then. Even I know that much. So you're saying this is the board? Because then how's there desert here? And then this is, this is the Great Lakes. So right up there is like Ontario. What the hell? What the frick? I need to. This shouldn't be desert. What are you talking about? Okay, sure. I guess. Huh? You know what? I wonder if Rio's ever even been. Well, I like, I'd say that like Rio's the story writer. I don't think we, I don't think we know who wrote this campaign. But I don't, I don't know if many of the, uh, Type Moon employees have been to North America's northern part. You'll join my companions, right? Uh, not my best work. You'll join my companions, right? Tanner, how long have you been watching? Not long. You're really dedicated, aren't you? Well, I don't have anything else to do at night anyway. And it's a good time to write my notebook, so... Anyway, when I'm out camping is really the only time I can get any private time. When I can take a break from being everyone's leader. This is more hobby than practice. I just really like getting cuter. I'm sure you noticed that, though. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course, anything. There are a few things more important than communication, after all. You're here to make mythical movies, right? This is the same conversation we had before. Uh-huh. That's my whole purpose. Why don't you star in any of them? I can't. I'm not cut out for lead roles. She doesn't suit me. Why not? Uh, how can I put this? Of course I want to be cute. Oh, not that I'm not now. I get tons of likes and everything. But acting in a movie, being a star, that's a whole different thing. You know, I made a brief cameo in one movie, and the response was huge, like, just enormous. Granted, a lot of it was pretty negative, and it ended up becoming something of a meme. Oh. This is sad, because literally all the memes I've seen of this event are how bad this event is. Is it a metaphor? Oh, what are we doing? Okay. Oh, this is that movie from the start there. Okay. And how did that become a meme? Oh, that one. Of course, it was all done for laughs. In that sense, it was a, six, a huge success, really, it was. I guess, um, I just didn't feel that sort of thing was fun. Of course, being a comedian is an amazing profession. I know how wonderful it is to make people laugh. But I want to shine bright, to be loved by everyone. That's much more fun. Oh, is that a reference to how this event really isn't that funny either? Ooh. Ooh. So I decided not to appear in any more movies myself. I mean, what's the point when I know I won't enjoy it? Um, so why not play a part you enjoy then? Well, just find a role you'd like to play like you did for Paris. A role I'd want to play? Hmm. <laughs> You know, if I'm being honest here, there is one role I've always wanted to play. Is this the for the new script you mentioned earlier? Haha, <laughs> I just know this last movie is going to be my magnum opus. I still can't tell you what it's about yet, but I hope you'll perform in it too. You want me to be in a movie, a myth with you? The very first time we met, I sense you were the last piece of the puzzle, the actor I've been searching for. So please, Tanner, you're the only one who can make my dream come true. Well, if you're that insistent, we'll get this event over quickener. I'll trust you. Remercier Dieu. Ah, what a relief. Now my dream can finally come true. You'll be way better at this than I could ever be, Tanner. All right, enough about that for now. We still need to take back the Takarabuni before we make this last movie. Oh, this is so exciting. 
I really hope she doesn't replace the original Bunyan in Caldia. I really do. Like, I don't actually. Now that I'm kind of see, I'm seeing like, yeah. This is the this is the path we're taking with her. Okay, well, I've never even heard of Peoria. Is that a real place? Is this place real? I've never heard of this. How do I not know you're just making this up? Where's this? I can see our target farther up the Mississippi River now. The Takarbune seems to be anchored late near Lake Michigan. Then I guess we'll settle this tomorrow. How far? Okay. This day, this must be a shrunken America or something, because that's ridiculous. Right, Senpai. Our confrontation with Anning is just over the horizon. Make sure you all get plenty of rest tonight. I think I'll go do just that then. Good night, Senpai. Good night, Mash. Very well then. If you'll excuse me, Big Boss, I'll be on my way as well. Ah, uh, just make sure you rest up too, Daikoku Ten. Thank you for your kindness. Hi. You really need to stop showing up out of nowhere like that. Uh huh. Let me look over there. Uh huh. I wonder where she's going. You want me to follow her? Okay. Well, never mind assassin. I think I should check this out. Hello? I'm sorry for coming back so late, Boss Anning. Heh. What's with the get up? What do you think you're doing, me? How can you forget to change your outfit? Ah. It's fine. You can go back to Bunny in the morning anyway, right? Well, yes, but I also wanted to help take care of Lord Plesiosaurus, so... Yeah, you don't gotta worry about him anymore. I'm just letting him swim around this great eating ground we found. We're just collecting snacks for him. Looks like he's especially fond of those big Megan Yura dragonfly things. We came here to check up on him. You're out of luck, Tanner. No, she knows I'm here. Big boss. I get it. Anning's your boss too, right? You mean you're not mad? What unbelievable generosity. You're the pinnacle of understanding we should all strive for. Hey, um, one thing I didn't mention. So in between parts, me and a few friends uh, were just kind of hanging out in uh, Discord chat. Uh, and uh, I was grinding some FGO there. And we went to the... My room lines to check them for like Daikoku Ten there. Um, did you know Daikoku Ten is always pregnant? Yeah, one of the voice lines just ends with her screaming, Ah, I'm in labor. Uh, very strange. Also, uh, Mary Anning loves women, which apparently might be real. I don't know we looked on the Wikipedia. Very interesting. But then, why follow me at all? You could have just let me go without saying anything. I was hoping for a chance to talk to Anning. Huh? Me? Uh, there's something I've been wanting to ask you for a while now. Why are you and Bunyan fighting? Like I told you before, it was the only way for me to survive. I only materialized in the Singularity world because Bunyan summoned me just like with the rodents there. But I got sick and tired of being one of her employees and... When I couldn't take it anymore, I bailed. And if I'm going to keep going on in this world, I'm going to have to settle things with her once and for all. Are you only talking about yourself? Uh, why would you ask that? You really care about me that much? Ha! <laughs> nice try, but you can't fool me. I already decided not to ever count on anyone else ever again. You're not just one of Bunny's employees. You're here to get rid of this world so you can restore humanity. Which means you and I can never be allies. Ever. The only way to settle this is the old-fashioned way. You know that too, don't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we'll end up fighting. It's kind of how this game goes. There, you see? I knew you were my enemy. I knew it all along. So cut the whole nice guy act. In fact, since you're here, I might as well just kill you and have done with it. Please don't. Oh, fine, never mind. But don't mistake this for mercy, you hear? I just want you to see how strong my baby is. I want to see you quake in your boots before he ends you. 
Oh yeah, say hi to him for me. Shut up. Just go already. Get out of here. She's smiling. She do be smiling. Okay. Well, drop that. Super Bunyan appears. Wow, there was like nothing there, huh? Caldy Theater red carpet. Ooh, that looks like a long one. All right, then. You know what? Let's say that the finale for next time, guys. We'll see you then for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order, wherein we probably finish up this event, maybe do the bonus stuff. I don't know. We'll see how long it takes, right? I have no clue. But for now, we'll call it here. We'll see you guys next time for some more. Ciao. Yo. Yeah.